was easy to get on the Jemai Jones hype train. When Jones was acquired by the O's in February of last year, the former second round pick was LA's seventh ranked prospect. And after a hot start in AAA Norfolk, fans were clamoring to see the second baseman in the majors. But the extra time gave Jones a chance to work on his game, particularly his defense. It really allowed me to to really just focus on the things down at Norfolk that I felt like I needed to to work on before I came up here. And it really just allowed me to go play. Regardless of what happened, uh, I knew that I was going to be thought about throughout the season. Defense was the big question for Jones throughout 2021. Second base was still relatively new to him. How would he adjust? No, I definitely feel comfortable at second. I made the transition in 2018. And, you know, that first year was a lot of early work, a lot of reps, really trying to figure out who I was going to be at second base. And, you know, now uh, a few years later, I do feel really comfortable there. And with second base wide open in Baltimore, the 24 year old had a chance to prove himself at the position upon his August promotion. But with an OPS just north of 400 in 26 games, the former top 100 prospect didn't exactly lock down the spot. Like any person, I'm still getting adjusted to it. I feel like I'm still putting together good ABs. I feel like I'm, you know, making plays that I wasn't making early in the year. Well, here's Jones last night, a couple of defensive plays. Nice flip over to Mateo, turn to double play. How about this one? It doesn't get any better than that play. A little club flip to Arias that time. From that end, I feel like I've come, uh, come a long way from the start of the season. I still have a long way to go. I still definitely think I can play better and I definitely have confidence in myself that I will as I get more games under my belt. And while Jones is still adjusting to the bigs, other names are on the way. The O's signed Rugnet Odor to a one-year deal, presumably to play second. Ramon Arias is a versatile piece. And looking at the prospect list, you'll find Taron Vavra, international signing Cesar Prieto, and recent second round pick Connor Norby. So is 2022 the make or break year for Jemai Jones? Uh, you know, every opportunity I get to step on that field along with the other guys that are young and the rookies, any opportunity we get is an opportunity to prove ourselves and to prove why we should be playing here. The potential is certainly there. Jones is still ranked in the O's top 20. But with other top prospects working their way up to Baltimore, the 24-year-old will need to turn a corner in 2022.